karibu sana kwa Manisho TV. Kenya Manisho TV. Surely. Yeah. Eh, like ni kia da nono marbayano ji ola mayani na seta yarare. Upishi. So welcome to our studio. Thank you so much. Yes. So eh as we started earlier, kindly tell us about yourself and what you do. Okay, personally I'm a chef. I'm a nomadic chef. I like cooking a lot. Mm-hmm. It has been a good passion and I've been doing a lot through cooking. Mm-hmm. And let's say food food industry is a challenge but it's also, it's also has good effects and good results. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh viewers uh have, as I promised you earlier today uh, that Manisha TV will be interviewing uh, one of our great nomadic chef wale mayani yeah the wolf the wolf <laughs> the wolf man <laughs> the wolf man so uh, what exactly made you um indulge into cooking into cooking yes first as you know the traditional as a masai mm-hmm. men are not allowed in the kitchen so I think it would they are not in the kitchen at all they uh-huh. don't cook uh-huh. So they just wait for their wives, their yes. mothers to cook for them. Uh-huh. So for me, I got interested when I was later on when I was young because mm-hmm. I used to see my mother cooking, mm-hmm. my grandmother was cooking. Mm-hmm. So I was very happy to see her uh, cooking and then everyone is saying, "Hey, today the food is good." Mm-hmm. And the other days you can find like your sister is cooking and say, oh, "My food, this food is not yes. as tasty as that for mom." So uh-huh. I used to ask my mom, "What do you do with your food?" Mm-hmm. How do you come up with such nice foods and my sister cannot cook? Mm-hmm. So I was very happy where well, how she started to introduce me. I used mm-hmm. to cook ugali. Mm-hmm. And normally no masai is meat. Maziwa, motori. Motori. <laughs> motori munono. Uh-huh. Munono is, is a special food, yeah. Uh-huh. That one is very special. Uh-huh. So I started cooking literally small things, uh-huh. small food. Uh-huh. And you know, Masai are not much into vegetables. So I came. I saw people don't like vegetables. So I went mostly to the vegetarian dishes mm-hmm. and checked out what can I do with the vegetables. What can I cook? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, being a nomad, mm-hmm. being a Masai, yeah, and being in that field, yeah, I know it's quite challenging. Yeah, it's and, a challenge. Uh, sometimes maybe you get critics. Yeah. That it's uh, it's not a good. Um, It's so not a good field. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to tell people out there, the, the the kids or the Maasai kids that are growing concerning this field? Apparently, how the world is, mm-hmm. you should not just do things like how people used to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should come up as yourself, be who you are. Yeah? Mm-hmm. If you are focusing on, let's say, the food mm-hmm. as I'm doing, mm-hmm. focus on the food and. Don't 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 always don't think about the criticism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. necessary. Otherwise, use it as fuel mm-hmm. to to drive you to more yeah. deep into the, what you are doing. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. And um, another question. Yes, please. Aramayen. Uh, Oi. Sasa. Eh. Wakati we legay ni ni. Oh, kena nyumba nuna piki. Are you are you married? Yes, I'm married. Oh, okay, that, that's a possible question. <laughs> so when you go home, yes. do you cook uh, to your family or you, you when you're at home, yes. you, you are now husband? No, I cook uh-huh. everywhere, whenever. Uh-huh. When I get somewhere where cooking is going on, I can get in very... I can fix it uh, comfortably. I don't have to stress myself and think about it. Uh-huh. Personally, I like good food. Uh-huh. So I have to train even my wife. Let's say even my kids when they grow I train them mm-hmm. but I cook at home. They say uh, food brings people together. Yes. And uh, personally I'm a food. I yeah. love food. Yeah. And but there is a lot when you when we talk about food. Yes. Eh mimi mwenyewe sijui. Mimi na nenda na mwambia chef mtoka mwaye mwanze. So ni saa tu yenye iko. Eh we leta Kenya kiko. So which is your favorite uh, dish? Your favorite food? I have a variety of favorite food so because I've I've been going through different cuisines mm-hmm. like say Indian, mm-hmm. Australian, Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Kenyan is normally ugali, nyama choma mm-hmm. and kachumbari. Mm-hmm. But I've gone even to deep into Mexican. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
so i have a variety it's like let's say for indian i like the chicken curry mm-hmm. na and the naan bread mm-hmm. yes and lots of vegetable rice mm-hmm. yes uh, that being said uh, do do people down there like mm-hmm. in our village do yeah. they appreciate the work you are doing uh, like when you when sometimes when you doing like uh, freelancing for example yeah do they appreciate that it's a it's our son yeah. who is doing this job and not women as it used yeah. to be yeah they are really happy uh-huh. some are very happy let's say as but how people are seeing the other world is going to, on mm-hmm. what the other people are doing mm-hmm. they are proud to see one one two or other people doing as, at least something you you can be proud of eh? mm-hmm. yeah they are proud so yeah. uh, i know there is a lot of names when it comes to uh, your field yeah nimesikia kuna jamaa ameniambia siju kuna kwa side ya kitchen siju kuna hot something yes kuna pastry yeah. siju kuna all those names yeah. name them yeah. what exactly did you specialize i've gone through all the departments yeah. in the kitchen yeah. so i have a basic idea of every corner mm-hmm. but my specification is about the grilling and hot kitchen hot yeah. kitchen deals with the grilling the sosia sosia is all about food with sauces grilling sasa ni ile kama kuchoma kuchoma yeah so unaona tu hata kutoka tu kwa masai unakuja direct on budget lazima tu kule on budget unaona sasa so I've gone deep but also with the vegetarian vegetarian dishes I focused on it because I've come to like the vegetables uh-huh. there at least you know Masai we are consuming a lot of proteins uh-huh. nyama 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 uh-huh. every time is meat uh-huh. maziwa uh-huh. so you find you get a lot of proteins in your body which are not necessary uh-huh. so vegetables is also good uh-huh. yeah so uh before we end uh, yeah. what message do you have uh, for the young people growing in our village yeah uh, what advice do you have to tell them yes for the advice i have is as i said earlier it's about yourself mm-hmm. what are you willing to do mm-hmm. what's your passion mm-hmm. what's driving you towards that thing mm-hmm. yeah push yourself to an extent that you once you are there you say yes i did it mm-hmm. i remember when i started I did about uh volunteering for about two years. Mm-hmm. I was not earning anything. Mm-hmm. I was just selling goods at home. Mm-hmm. Pay a course mm-hmm. for about two months, mm-hmm. three months. Mm-hmm. So I passed a lot through the learning mm-hmm. to get to where I am now. Mm-hmm. So you find other people saying oh, nowadays let's go for cooking is not easy. Mm-hmm. Yes, because you have to think you have to uh, let's say people say six commons is nowadays mm-hmm. but for food you can go up to 10 mm-hmm. because you have to test everything mm-hmm. so you have to be that strong person who pushes yourself mm-hmm. towards what you want to do so it's yeah. it's, 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 uh, it's it's a challenging field because yeah it's a challenging challenge yeah it's not that easy yeah. Yeah. yeah customers want uh, something different every yeah. day yeah yeah and uh, it's it's like uh, technology yes. things are changing things are the changing is, yeah it's growing and yeah, the field is growing mm-hmm. yeah you have to be updated every now and then mm-hmm. you have to check on the internet what's going on mm-hmm. in the let's say abroad mm-hmm. you know many recipes also you create many people are creating recipes mm-hmm. so you can create your own but you can also relate to what other people are doing so that you can know you can range yourself where you are and uh, in this field who mm. do you look up to or who do you who is your favorite like chef yeah. the person that you check mostly on the internet or yeah on it let's not look at the internet first uh-huh. but basically in kenya uh-huh. yeah. locally locally uh-huh. in kenya uh-huh. I have a great i call him dad mm-hmm. he's a samburu chef it's mm-hmm. called joseph lesasuya mm-hmm. He's a great 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 person in my life he has mm-hmm. done a lot to make me where i am now mm-hmm. he has always been challenging me and telling me where i am mm-hmm. and also abroad is gordon ramsay mm-hmm. gordon ramsay is a chef from england mm-hmm. he has, he has a, a restaurant called uh, health kitchen mm-hmm. yeah i'll normally check on him a lot so guys uh 
as you have heard, he's a really, really young guy doing great things. Not only here, but he has traveled as well to different counties. And uh, to our young guys out there, let us not be, you know, limited to thinking. Let us not be limited to uh, achieving what we want, what we we desire because of uh, the, because of our culture. Everything is possible as, as long as you have passion, as yes. your heart from the Mayani. Yeah. Everything is possible, and this is Manisha TV from Olemayani Kitchen. Thank you, <laughs> Shirley.